Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome back to our video. So today we killed bad boss Batman who laughs, but first I got to deal with the Trustus and EPI. Uh, now with this man, he's very low on health and normally I wouldn't really like to use a Batman Ninja team fight on him. Also shouldn't have opened with Batman Jacketman. Oh, he got blinded. That's not good. Might as well use a special too since he's blinded anyway. Yeah, we kind of need the R2 characters to die, and blinding him and reducing his attack kind of doesn't go well with that. I have no gears on the R2 guys, but I have a lot of passive stats, so killing them might take a while. Okay, he's finally rid of his blind and his attack debuffs, now he's really starting to deal some damage. There we go, Grodd is going to soon enough die, hopefully. Nope. One more tagging, same for Robin. Look at him, he's just sitting there. Come on, mate, you do something. Damage me. So we got lucky with the tagging so far. It should not have opened with Bat Ninja Ketuman. Okay, Grodd's dead. And Robin is sitting on white HP, so now I can start dealing damage without a worry. Joker has bat rings at level 10 on Bat Ninja Ketuman. And level 8 and level 3, yeah. Uh, level 8 Dark Metal cards and level 3 Hand of the Tano and the R2 characters. My bad. Okay, there we go. He is down indeed. Not sure I could have gotten away with something else. I was thinking of Manta, but then again, he would not survive super moves. So this was a tricky choice. Against CPI, since we have Brainiac available, because usually I would just go ahead and use him with uh, Batman Ninja Team. But right now it was not necessary. I'm going to try Beta Club Manta again. This has been tried when Beta Club was first released and people are like oh it, it's it's fine but it's not great so why bother especially because we have to waste the brainiac but yeah we'll see how this goes mm, should also worry about keeping the manta stacks up though Like, the thing is, Beta Club kind of needs uh, quite a lot of modifiers. It needs usually three modifiers, three different modifiers to do very well. Uh, which we have the crit chance, which is on the belt. We have the lethal form Brainiac, and that's already pretty good. That's already pretty good. Like, Batman and Sting can do well enough with that, because they have even more lethal of their own. And the third thing is Manta's got some additional damage on basic hits, but the problem with that is it's going to increase the basic hit value, which increases the beta club dot value, but then the dot value is not going to further benefit a second time from that. There's no way she kills me, right? Yep. Though she was a bit closer than I would have expected. Okay, we're up to 10 mil per second. This is actually not too bad. And 10 stacks with Brainiac. No, no longer need to tag Brainiac in. And yeah, 10 mil per second. Oh, this is actually kind of better than I remembered. It's actually not that bad. Not amazing, but not that bad. Against this man, I can just use Batman to drown with God Killer, not worry about anything, not even his mechanics, and just one shot him. But some of you pointed out it's an easy one shot with um, Joker with Crown of Conduct equipped on him, which I might or might not have remembered to equip. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. But something I do agree with is the fact that Joker with Crown of Conduct plus Raven is going to be insanely strong. I have Dark Metal cards at level 8 on Raven, and Joker Eyes Bat Rings at level 10 on EPI. They will not really make active use of the Joker Eyes Bat Rings effect, as they're just for passive stats. 
would have been a level 8, another level 8 Dark Metal cards instead of it, and would have gotten the same outcome. Are you, are, you, are you guys ready to play a game that Sig will forget or not to equip the artifacts? No, I did not. We can see a damage buff there. Oh, oh be, be careful though. You don't want to die. Get back up. Our damage is very, very low right now with Joker, but trust me, it ramps up a lot as soon as you get a few more stacks of crown. Already ramping up. Yeah, that's that's more like it. We're sitting on Madness, but I don't think he will survive. Until he fully gets me with the Madness. I don't want him to do super move because I'm not sure my any of my characters actually survive that. My Raven power steal from him a bit. There we go. Perfect. Right before we could not stop him from doing super move anymore. Maybe EPI survived it. If I tried, maybe not. We'll never know. Let's take a look at the reward. Okay, so after finishing Heroic 7, Heroic 7 for like the fourth time, I still from normal to now got only one bedroom lapse drop. Here I'm gonna try it again, Puppets, Mr. Freeze, plus the rest of the team. Trust me, it, it kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. So what we want to do here is to first of all get some power with Deathstroke. We want to be at full power. So third special from Zatanna also applied poison because she's wearing the Joker as veterans. Now if you press special 2 with this man. No, still not infinite power. My calculations were a bit wrong. There we go. Now we do have infinite And we lost it because we, we get it as soon as he re-enters this area. Come on, just sit in there. There we go, he's frozen. Make sure you don't lose infinite power from Mr. Freeze. And just do as much as you can with the other two characters as soon as you have the power to do so. A super move is gonna get us a bit off track here. Though he still got infinite power. Okay, we had burning effect active again. And this kind of pushed him a bit off. But for now it's fine, I don't care too much. Okay, there we go. Infinite power again. I think there's some percentage left on the stroke and some on Zatanna, but at this point I think I just do a bit more damage with just Mr. Freeze gameplay here. Yeah, I just gotta find a more efficient way to get everything out of the way faster.
yet again i don't think it's the best idea to try to do everything at once like i did maybe though i i, I think i said literally said the same thing the last time but maybe maybe just 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 maybe do these Atana and Deathstroke separately from Mr. Freeze and then tag Mr. Freeze to do his stuff. So here I'm going to try to implant Sakuman. I've come to really not like this man with Puppet of Zatanna, but I'm gonna try it again anyway. I have the Joker Eyes Batterings on Vixen, so that will be an added negative effect. We can add a further negative effect with King Super move. Then when Vixen uses a special, that will also add negative effect i don't know man it's set up the best possible way the only downside is that we don't have special one for king so we'll have to try and activate stuff with the third special not bad it's fine i just wanted to do super move because this locks his super move which is a negative effect we need more power There we go, four of them. King just needs to hit another one with third special. And he failed to apply that one. I hate you so much. I hate this setup. I hate this thing. I hate Pop of the Town King. Come on, apply one. There we go, there we go. Good boy. Good boy. Now let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's go. Come on, boy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We can do this. Come on. There we go, there we go, that's good, that's real good, King, that's real good. Let's keep it up, keep it active. Don't lose it. We're doing the third special pretty often, so it's very unlikely to lose it, so if I do end up losing the puppet, infinite power, it's going to be insanely unlucky. Damage is pretty crappy, to be honest. I was expecting more. I was really expecting more damage out of this, considering the amount of passive stats we put into him. So I guess you do it very often, so it's actually more damage than it seems. Oh no, he's no longer burning. We lost the power, we got it. Thankfully, we got it back, but we even lost it for a second there. And there we go. He actually did it. I was I was a bit too mean to him. The damage was fine, but boy. I'm not using this team again. And I'm going to use Batman the Drowned for the last fight against Cyborg here. And huge announcement. I got my Dark Malkars to level 9. One more level, which is not going to happen this time around, because it's uh, the sword is soon going to expire. And uh, it takes some time to get those materials. I think to get the amount to get it from 9 to 10, I need to run the whole Heroic 7 two more times. But after I'm finished with this, I can finally start working on the Hand of Zatan as well. And get that to max level. This is a big reason for the pay to win side of things that's kind of missing from the free to play side of things to keep playing soul rates. Because I got my Joker as veteran to level 10, now I'm getting my Dark Malakars to level 10, and then I'm gonna get my Hand of the Ten at level 10. I'm grinding those materials to get those artifacts to high level because I wanna use them, because they, they look cool. And I wanna see their performance at max level, but. On the free to play side of things, people are like, yeah, I guess I'm gonna get my third Dark Null card to level 10. Why, why, why not at this point? It's not like I have any other options. And yeah, damage is bad. The, the damage is terrible. You know why? Because God Killer is barely stealing any attack from him. Should not have used God Killer Batman Drone here. Should have used the um, Dark Null cards on her and uh, gone with the stun strategy with Arkham Knight Batman. That would have been just as convenient as this and would have done more damage. But it's kind of too late for that.
Nah, by the, look of, by the looks of it, we're not killing him. I'm also at the class disadvantage against tech, which matters a bit. Like, if, if he has at the end of the fight 10% health remaining, it's gonna be because of that. If not, it's not too big of a deal. No, we're not killing him. I, I do have the time to activate the pass one more time, which I'm obviously gonna do. But he's not gonna run the full course. And even if he ran the full course of the passive, I'm not sure it would have still been enough. Yeah, we're gonna activate the pass one like 10 seconds left or something like that, even less. Yeah, exactly 10 seconds left. Yeah, we're not stealing enough attack with God here because this man has absolutely no attack. Oh, rip! This actually... I, I was not expecting this to not one-shot. Should have used Dark Mole cards on her. But yeah, all that being said, thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!